Hi guys, what's up? My name is Sarah and this is Planet Sarah. We're gonna ignore the way I look today. I'm not even gonna attempt to drag myself because I'm that bad today. It's been a depressing few days, so um, it's gonna be expected. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about any of that stuff, but if you happen to be my brother or my brother's girlfriend, please remove yourself. Okay, I'm about halfway through editing this and I realized that a lot of the video you can hear background noise, like my dog barking or someone shouting. So it is cut up really weird and there's a lot of the actual clips cut out, like of the show, if you get what I mean. Like I usually zoom in on the show for, a, for like a bit of it to like give some context to what I'm talking about. But because there is so much background noise, you can't even hear what they're saying. So you're just gonna have to listen to me talk about it and then sort of guess what I was talking about because you must have already seen the episode if you w are now watching my video so I'm sorry if you don't like the way this video is edited it's not usually like that it's just really noisy in my house today it was not an out but like it was so I'm just sorry if the video is cut weird or you don't enjoy it like I still hope you do and um if you do give it a thumbs up Okay, so anyway, today's episode is episode 3 of season 1, and it's called If One of Them Is Dead, which is obviously a little easter egg throwback sort of thing to the original PLL. Anything you hear in the background, I cannot control, so you're gonna have to ignore it like I do. Anyway, so for a short intro, I'm gonna give this quickly because I have to be out in like 40 minutes, so like, that's how long this is. Oh yeah, so last episode, Ali like, gave them the alibi. Just so that this doesn't all blow up in our faces. Where were you, really, when no one was killed? Oh, that looks great in a suit jacket, just saying. What are you gonna do? Nothing I haven't done before. Nothing I haven't done before. That's a long list, Ali. Allison's a fabulous liar, but the rest of them are still training, so that's where the plot flaws will be. I like their outfits, like their styles and stuff. Dylan's gonna be the forgotten character in all of this. So there's always like the favourite characters and right now I know Ava is one of the like top what favourite characters. Get out of his seat. What are you talking about? Get out of his seat. This seat is up for grabs now, right? I mean, Mason. Get out of his seat, Mason! Whoa. Calm down. He's not I mean you don't just sit there and say that, but she did get very upset. She's a good detective, but she's annoying. I want to leave. Why was there no cameras around the actual school where he was killed or like around the roof or something? Because surely if they have it everywhere except there, like why? Do you think that I should uh, report Ava's behavior? Now, I don't want to get her into trouble. But uh, if you seem a little aggressive. Oh, great, another Nolan. He's like the Noel, the one who just wants to provoke things. He's a childhood friend, right? I like Alison's character development from like the original PLL to here. You can still see it's Ali, but she's changed. So she's really good at acting, that's all I can say. Oh, here comes drunk Ava. Who's she? Are they roommates? I'm really confused. This song's gonna get on my nerves, I feel it. How, how am I the perfect choice for Vogue? The perfect choice for Vogue. Choice for Vogue. I love her voice. It's a, it's a weird impression. That's all she has left. She thinks her daughter's dead. Her da her son just died, you know. I don't like her now. Like, she was sort of okay. Like, she was tolerable. And now she's getting annoying. Where's the the boyfriend of her? Like, her secret boyfriend? Because I'm still pretty sure he's a pretty high suspect. Whoever did this is smart, Ali. Smart enough to pin this murder on anyone they want. And they're trying to pin it on Ali. Is she seriously going to send that video to Vogue? This is from Nolan. Claire, I thought it was for me, but he totally forgot about me what is it what is it what's that what is it how is she already sober she's like she's sober that well quick like she was drinking like straight vodka i love ali and them glasses <gasps> who took that wait tea 
Mona Smarks are like really underrated. Like, does that even make sense? Like, her intelligence is really underrated. How does she play chess with someone anonymously in her own home? Well, now that the two of you started it, there is actually something that I need to tell you. So I wasn't completely honest with you guys about what happened. I like her car. Wait. I followed him. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the car that followed. Out here to this cabin. <gasps> what was he doing? Some blonde. That's his sister, though. Now I'm thinking that maybe it wasn't what I thought it was. Um, Claire Hodgkiss found a present that was meant for me from Nolan. It was a broken camera lens. He said that it was a symbol of how much he wanted to protect me and how much he loved me. Maybe he was still trying to protect me. From what though? I, I feel like it's the sister. Like the sister is quite high on on the scale. Like on my on my what was I calling it last week? My sketch list. Are they gonna have to find the sister? Because the title is called "If One of Them Is Dead." She could be here, and they could find her right now. Or it's Allie. Allie. What part about don't do anything out of the ordinary did you miss? Authority figure well, Allie we love. Sure. They must find something on her because she's literally been living there. Where is she then? Oh, it's the gum wrapper. It's gonna give it all away. But also, how's the gum wrapper gonna find out who it is? Where's Taylor gone? Because she was living there, so where's she going now? Which also puts her even higher on my sketch list because that means she could be hiding again. Are you sure that you don't smell that? Something's in the boot. But what is it? Some sort of dead animal or something dead. That's no stash. Stash? Where his drugs? Oh, dead rat. There's something in the rat's mouth. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> How did she just pick it up like that? Which is very confusing. Why is that rose significant? <gasps> that rose is from her memorial or whatever it's called. There is that. They're at this crossing again. It's like their meeting point. Their friendship rise is just, you know, it's, you know, it's sailing. Let's get something straight. <laughs> I'm not. But I'm realizing that success isn't Mona got in. making mistakes. It's about learning from your mistakes. What's she so find? No. Why does she look so scared? I think Taylor Hodgkiss might be alive. You cracked it, sis. But how did the rose give it away? Like, someone could have just taken it, you know? The gum wrapper. He was watching. So does that put put childhood friend Mason higher on my sketch list, or is that just a throw off to like get us away from the actual murderer? Or he could have just been listening and he knows that she's alive, but I think I know who's in the woods that night. He didn't do it. Interesting. This was an interesting episode. We figured out, well, we found out that um, Ava was the one who was following Nolan, so she knew about the sketchy girl in the woods who she assumed to just be some random blonde until she saw Ali and was like, hang on a minute, she looks kind of like you. But we learned in the first episode that everyone thinks that Ali looks like Taylor Hotchkiss, who we know is alive. So they're now on the tracks of figuring out that Taylor is alive and Alison's sort of got there first and is now telling Mona and Mona's also cracked the code to get into the, the, the camera system thingy. But also... Mona's found something on there, but we haven't found out what yet because Ali knocked on the door because we see her face just sort of change like, huh, what is that? So there's something on that computer that we need to find out about. Their friendship ride, so you've got the Dylan, you've got Caitlin and Ava, there we go, I've learnt their names now. They seem to be getting on really well now, pretty swimmingly. Kind of liking it, like they, they're like very different people, I guess, but they're getting along really well. I kind of like it, you know. And I've seen a lot of people comparing... Caitlyn to Emily's character. I personally would put Dylan with Emily, not just because they're both gay, but they're sort of like the pushover who are like developing into um, a more stronger character, if you go know I mean, like an individual. Because in season one, we see Emily, um, or PLL, we see um, Emily sort of being pushed around and she just sort of does what everyone says, like, kind of thing. And she sort of is that way until sort of like. I don't know, season three, four, maybe? Like, quite far in, she's suddenly, like, this, like, leader sort of um, position. In this, Dylan 
he like in season in the first episode um nolan making him do all their tests and stuff he's being made to do all these things that's how i see it anyway and then caitlin let's see who would she be i feel like she's an aria and then ava's definitely hannah 100 percent anyway i'm sorry if this was a bad reaction i'm not really in the best mood right now but if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe and maybe share it i don't know but like if you did enjoy it then please do them things um you can also follow me on instagram at madnessa x shoney and on twitter at shoney x madnessa where i post slash tweet about the show i also talk about other shows and if there's anything you want me to do or react to then you can tweet me dm me comment on my post or anything um or you can um comment down below and tell me something you either liked about this episode something you want me to do in another episode i don't know but like you can tell me anything and i will respond most likely because i love responding to you guys so you know just interact i'm lonely and need friends before this gets too depressing my name is sarah and this has been planet sarah